All right, everybody, welcome back to the layout. So this is going to be episode 104 of my layout update builds. And basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to start with uh, putting in the section for Bridgeport Harbor. I have to cut all the supporting pieces for the underneath, and then I can mount this. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this bench work so it meets up with the manufacturers, all right? So I'm gonna have to add supports in, cut a couple braces, and then drop it down. And then finally, what I'm gonna do is replace this bench work right here. It's just, it's an odd shape, and I'm not gonna try to cut odd shapes to fit it. So I'm just going to cut a brand new piece and install it. I have, uh, I have enough wood upstairs that I can piece the whole side of the layout back together if I need to. So um, I'm going to rebuild that little piece right there. So those are going to be the three projects for this, uh, for episode 104. So uh, let me go upstairs and cut all the supports. We'll be right back. All right, so I got all the supports cut. So right now I'm going to install all the needed ones for Bridgeport Harbor. And then uh, I'll show you progression. We'll be right back. All right, so I got all the bracing up for the uh, harbor area. So now I'm going to uh, install, or actually just place the um, the top on for now. Um, I did a roundabout measurement because I still have to make some adjustments um, to the layout tops, um, most likely just in this corner. Um, but I figured I'm a three quarters of an inch off, so I have to lower this three quarters of an inch. But before I do that, I'm gonna double and triple check everything before so it, it won't take that long to do but i don't want to keep doing it over and over again so all right so the next step is like i said i'm going to put the tabletop on and then i'm going to move over to this section here and what i'm trying to do is actually make it so it's level with this because i'm going to be putting a lift bridge in that's how the two layouts are going to connect so uh let me get this going and what i'm basically going to do is lower this one this one and this one probably got to lower it I don't know two inches maybe so I'm going to put some additional support under here and then um, each of these will have two uh, two supports so uh, let's get started all right so before I lower this down what I figured out I had to do is add extra support um, because I only had one holding the cross brace in so this would have collapsed a little bit. So I put a brace here, I put a brace here, and I put a brace there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here, here, and here, and then drop this down. I think I have to drop it down. I said in the previous uh, segment, I have to drop it down two inches. I measured it in about an inch and three quarters, so I was close. So um, once I cut these, then I can unscrew these drop them down, and then I'm gonna do the center one first, measure that up, and then go off of that. So uh, let's get started. I'll get these, uh, these screws out, and then actually I'm gonna cut these boards quick, and then uh, we're gonna get the, uh, the screws out and lower this down. Uh, I know I probably said this earlier in my previous videos, but this uh, tool here, this Dremel tool, um, is definitely a must have if you're building a layout. And it's come in handy so much and it's great and it's only about a hundred bucks so uh, i got this at home depot so you know i'm not getting any type of uh promotions on this or anything i'm just speaking from experience that this is a great tool so uh anyway let me get these pieces cut and then uh we'll start this uh process all right so i gotta get this uh piece trimmed and i have to take off about an inch and a half off the back and then I'm gonna have to figure out the lolly column so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this shaping tool basically to make the shape I need so um, but I'm gonna cut it back here so it fits up here and it's gonna fit properly over here so uh, let me get going. Let me cut this piece and then uh, get it fitted 
so I can move on to the harbor. We'll be back in one second. All right, so I got the, um, the piece up back up in the garage. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this section out here, but I'm gonna cut up to this point and then get my, um, my little uh, jigsaw out and cut the rest of the circle uh, for the lolly column. So uh, let's get this cut. All right, so this is how it came out. Uh, this is my first time doing something like this, so uh, let's see how it fits. Um, all right, not bad. So what I'm gonna have to do is get the, um, the other section and just actually, I'll put it up this piece of pe uh, small piece into here, and uh, we can move on. So this is pretty good. Mm. Awesome. All right. So now I'm going to lower the Bridgeport Harbor area. So let's get started on that. All right. So I got the Bridgeport Harbor all adjusted, and it's at the level that I need it at, and it's also perfectly level which is what I like to see um, and basically what I'm doing now is I'm gonna have to adjust the bench work again and I'll explain why so I had to raise the the bench work to accommodate the uh, hidden staging that became a visual hidden staging uh, Bay Ridge yard so I rate I had to raise up a little bit um, which caused an issue over here where it's up about an inch and a half. But I'm gonna use that to my advantage because this over here, where this template is, that represents the main line that's gonna be coming through here. Now, this is gonna be uh, Jenkins Curve right in front of you. And basically it was elevated track, um, super elevated track actually and it had the stone walls that went through east uh they started in uh, east bridgeport and then went all the way past um right into stanford area so and even further down as well so i'm going to be putting the stone walls in but it's going to have to start climbing over in the corner there so let's go take a look at over there and uh, I'll show you what I mean. All right, so now we're on the other side and you can see where the main lines are gonna be coming in. Now, it's about an inch and a half it has to rise up. And then this whole section is gonna slowly rise to three and a half inches. This over here is already cut. So all I have to do is uh, push it up and then re-secure it with some risers. Um, and then connect it to uh, this part of the main line. So let's go back over to the um, to the other side, and I want to discuss one more thing before uh, wrapping up this update. All right. So before I forget, I did cut the piece um, for the new bench work that's going to be going in. Um, but since I have to make some modifications, I just want to make sure that um, once I put this in and secure it, I want to make sure I'm not going to be taking it back out. So let's just start how I envision this area. And I want this to step all the way up gradually. So this is gonna be the level of the harbor. This is gonna be Bridgeport Harbor. Now, because of this height difference here, I'm gonna to have to start laying out the track plan ahead of time. And then what I'm gonna to have to do is drop this area here for the power plant down to this level here, which is probably gonna be like an inch and a half. Because right now, that's too deep uh, for a harbor. So, plus, it's gonna be a lot easier switching this out at the same level and not going up a hill. So I'm gonna drop this section down and then the maybe maybe I can show you on actually the, on the uh, my drawing here. So this area here 
is right here. And then this template here is representing a uh, the Pier 27, which is gonna be a Craftsman kit. Um, this right here was originally the uh, power plant area. Also, there was gonna be a secondary power plant over here, but I changed my mind on that and then I'm gonna be still putting the uh, power plant here, but it's gonna be the power plant down on Mill River. So this is gonna be the New Haven side of the layout. Uh, anything past the Lolly Column will be Bridgeport. So, and so I had to change this up because number one, I miscalculated my measurements and I was off uh, six inches on the, uh, on the actual bench work. So I did not plan for that. So I lost real estate over here. So I had to change the, uh, the schematic or the, uh, the layout of the power plant, which I'm working on now. So I'm gonna drop this down, but I also have lines that come in that feed the yard. So I don't know if I'm going to do a nice gradual, uh, like start on the bench work here and just slowly bring it down to grade or, or not. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that yet. So I'm gonna have to fix that, but I think it's gonna look really good with the harbor down here, then gradually going up and then seeing the elevated track going through as well. So I think that's gonna be a nice touch. So, and one last thing, Bridgeport has catenary, so I plan on putting catenary on this layout. But the only issue I have is that when the the two um, main lines come in, it's basically a two main, it's, it's a double main layout, but once they converge, it looks like a four track, which is gonna look just like Bridgeport. But once I put the catenary towers up, I need um, around 10 inches of space for track distances and also for the distance between the outer edge track and the catenary bridge. So, um, the problem with that is it chews up a lot of my real estate on the layout. So when you look down here, this is the bench work for the elevated portion. So I'm going to lose a track in the lower Bridgeport yard, but actually gain a really cool thing on the other side here. I wasn't going to do any switching anyway, because I have my um, car float down there. So this actually is going to work out just fine. And then I'm gonna have to figure out how to branch this off because it's gonna loop around on top of the helix and then come back. So I have all the I have all the wood for that. But I have to finish the track plan before I secure the rest of this bench work down because I'm gonna have to make some cuts and then adjust the risers here. So but, so this is gonna wrap up this layout update. Um, if you notice, some of the structures are coming out. Lamberton Street is starting to uh, shape up. So that's gonna be part of uh, episode 106. So this is gonna be, this is episode 104. Episode 105 is uh, Christmas in October. Episode 106 is gonna be all about the structures. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. This is Ron New Haven Rails. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you at the next layout update. Thanks for watching.